the gym this week. As you can tell, no one else on the show went to the gym this week, but I was at the gym this week and this little baby comes up to me and she says, Trevor Lee, you're everywhere. How are you everywhere? Do you have a twin? How are you in all these places at the same time? And I said, baby, you can't spell fame without me. When I first came to AEW in 2015, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of riding off the bus of uh, where I kind of broke out in PWG and, and a lot of companies were kind of hitting me up at the time and wanting to bring me in. Uh, and at that time, like a lot of companies would bring me in and it would just be like a one-time shot. Uh, so I didn't know if that was what I was going to have with AEW. And then I, I come to AEW for the first time when I was in Bourbon Street, which is a gigantic building. Uh, for indie wrestling, and then uh, I believe I was first match that night, and uh, the crowd was big, the crowd was hot, and I was already fired up for that. And then I just kind of went out there and just kind of gave like the greatest hits to Trevor Lee, just to try to see if these people would uh, attach to me. And it was it was crazy how quick the crowd here at AEW attached with me. And uh, from that moment, I, I felt like it wasn't going to be like a one time shot anymore it was going to be uh every every uh, what two weekends of the month pretty much is what it became and uh it's been incredible as he was going for the springboard maneuver christian faith caught him inside cradle he got it whoa trevor lee in his aw debut pins the former heritage champion get the official word It was kind of crazy how 2016 uh, was for AEW because just the roster at that time was crazy. Like uh, uh, anywhere really in the world you could see like these guys, but uh, in Chicago where the crowd is just insane and the caliber of talent that was there for this, like that whole year and just the matchups and everything that was going on, you kind of had to step up and you kind of had to either set yourself apart and be different uh, or you would get kind of washed out in the mix of all that talent. And uh, I think that just helped thrive for great shows and like make everyone kind of work harder to make this company like one of those top companies to be looked at as like a PWG or, or whatever you want to call it. AAW definitely like stepped up that year and uh, kind of solidified themselves as like one of the top indies easily in the country. Now, all I'm asking, is to keep getting these opportunities. That's all I'm asking, is to keep getting matches against the greatest wrestlers in the world. And I want to show these AAW fans that I wasn't just hype. I want to show these AAW fans that Trevor Lee means business. 2017, uh, so I, I came in at AAW and I kinda, uh, I kinda already went for the top. Like I was wrestling with Eddie Kingston for the heavyweight title. Like pretty early into the company, but, uh, you know, didn't succeed in that and later went on to tag team wrestling with Andrew Everett, uh, a guy that I started with. Uh, we've been everywhere together. Um, but unfortunately due to injuries, like um, we weren't able to really have that tag team title run. We, uh, we won them and then I think we had to kind of get rid of them as soon as we won them. Uh, I believe we defended them maybe once. Uh, so that kind of, you know, slow little things down, but it was still great to always just be able to know that no matter what, I was going to be booked on the show and know that uh, I was going to be at AAW at least once, like once during the month. And that was something I could always look forward to. High cross, no! Rolls through. Oh, he's got the tights. He got him. Trevor Lee with the hand tights gets the W. Good for him. Good for him. He 
see, it would be too limited because here's something you don't know, Marty. I'm a little sick. I'm a little under the weather tonight. But even under the weather, in eight minutes, I beat one of the best wrestlers in the world. So what does that make me, Marty? Marty, tell them what that makes me. You are one of the best wrestlers. Marty, in the world. how old am I? How old is Trevor Lee? 23 years old. And I am what? Uh, one of the best wrestlers in the world. So why do you have to come here every fucking time and ask me a silly fucking question? You know what I'm going to say, Marty. I want the fucking heavyweight title. All right, I have no... I am a TV star. A 23-year-old prodigy. Uh, the, I re like I said before, like there was so much talent that uh, I kind of had to find something different uh, that I could do to kind of still show out and... Uh, so I, I resorted to the easy tactics of, you know, old school mid-Atlantic style wrestling and just good old, like, uh, just bait and switch, hiding things. Uh, I, we introduced wrestling rules because AAW has no rules, only to then break all the rules behind the rest back. And it was great. The crowd loved it. Like, they really, uh, really attached to it well, I think. And uh, it was, it was so much fun to do just... Uh, to set yourself apart and be different from all the other matches, but uh, not necessarily have to like, you know, kill yourself. Like we were still working hard, but we weren't dying. And <laughs> that was ultimately what it came from is just trying to have longevity, but, and still keep up with all these guys. It's crazy. If you're out on the floor, you gotta get back in the ring within 10 seconds, pal. Or guess what? He'll throw you out. If he tries to do any cheating, you throw him out. But see, Swan, it's only because I respect you, and I've scouted you, and I know everything. That last match, they did every move in the fucking book, but me, I'm gonna save my spots because there's a couple more matches to go. Because Trevor Lee will lead the Jim Lyham Memorial Tournament, the champion. Yeah, so I had never really been comfortable uh, with like promos and stuff, but. From the time that I got here in AEW, I was kind of forced every show to to say something. Uh, so then it naturally just started to kind of come in a little bit easier for me. And then I just kind of lost my mind and I uh, just would start grabbing the microphone, not even asking permission, some shows to get the microphone. I would just kind of take the microphone and just kind of start ranting. And uh, sometimes they didn't really have like an, an exit strategy or anything or it was nothing I ever kind of like conceived it's just like I just went out there and it was just ridiculous and said a lot of crazy things but it, then it began to work and I began to get a little bit better at it and was able to rhyme a little bit there with some of them and it, it was great I loved it and I feel like it uh it's definitely helped me obviously for the future or for anything just being more comfortable was learned here in AAW. Wrestling fans, Trevor Lee would like me to remind you that there is an Impact Wrestling Superstar of television and the X Division in your presence here tonight. Trevor Lee! Trevor Lee! He had the ropes! Shoulders were down. Trevor Lee had the damn ropes. This crowd is not happy. 11 minutes, 23 seconds. Your winner and the new AEW champion, the What were some of your uh, favorite matches or uh, moments here in AEW over the last few years? Uh, there's a lot of matches. I really liked the first match I had with uh, Ricky Shane Page uh, because it was my debut and uh, I was just a little young baby face just trying to get over in front of a new crowd. And uh, we, that, we worked that match very well together, I felt, and uh, it was the reason I was able to be brought back and then I loved everything that I did with Rich Swan uh, recently with the Heritage title and uh, the whole angle as well with DJ Z. I, I obviously enjoyed uh, this whole past year. I've enjoyed every match. I, 
I really, uh, I really hold the match of Myron Reed dear close to me because uh, it was the first match that I wrestled after my father died, and uh, it was just like a real like emotional kind of match for me. And Myron's like such an incredible talent. I woke up to a phone call that my father had passed away. Oh, damn. I, I, I really thought about canceling the show. Honestly, I thought about not coming here because my dad was my world. My dad raised me my entire life as a single father. And for him to pass, it, it devastated me. So normally I would come out here and I would tell you guys that I'm the impact star, that I'm this big deal. But not tonight. Tonight I came to LaSalle because it's what my dad would have wanted me to do. My father was my biggest fan, even no matter if you guys hated me, he loved me. I love you. We love you. Because I am the AAW Heritage Champion. And you're no Brock Lesnar. Myron Green, <laughs> he earned a shot. He earned his opportunity to wrestle me for the Heritage title. So I'm here to do that. Yeah. This match, this match will be held under wrestling rules. But it's not gonna be like all the shit that I've done before. Tonight, tonight this is for my father. Tonight, this is for LaSalle. Tonight, this is for me. Uh, we, we had pretty, pretty good times there in those LaSalle shows. Like every LaSalle show was a really fun time just because that crowd is it's like a different crowd. It's like a crowd that I would get like back home in North Carolina, and uh, they just they just loved everything, and it was great performing in front of them. Uh, and then all the matches here in Bourbon, not in Bourbon Street, uh, Logan Square. I wrestled really Chris Hero here one time, press. and uh, I feel like that match was a real good match to help kind of put me over the edges a little bit as well. Like I really like every match here I've had in the past year. I've just really enjoyed. I, uh, they, yeah, they all just, I all kind of learned something from each one of them and was able to try something and see if it worked. And this crowd's just the best to kind of do that with. No love lost between these two. They know each other inside out. Big fight feel atmosphere here at the Logan Square Auditorium. ACH has not taken his eyes off Trevor Lee since he walked through that curtain.
North Carolina, I've, I've done hour matches, like too many to count at this point. And the longest I ever went was an hour and 45 minutes, but they were all in that small little town in North Carolina, just like that little gym that we have there. And it was never on a grander scale. And, and AAW uh, kind of gave us that platform on that big scale, that super kind of indie scale where a lot of people are watching and uh, a lot of people are talking. And, and it was cool to just have the kind of trust to uh, be able to attempt at something like that. And this crowd here in Logan Square is just awesome. and There's awesome atmosphere as well. And they just get all into it. So to have them with us for that whole hour is absolutely incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. It's really everything about AAW I'm gonna miss, like the com camaraderie, the the fucking terrible bus rides to the shows and after the shows and getting Chipotle or getting Subway before every show and then coming here and being here way too early but just having fun anyways because we're all here together in this kind of atmosphere and uh, we just, we, we kill it and then the show starts and we all kill it and then we go back and we're, you know, we're off on our way to the next place, but every time we know that we're going to be able to come back here, uh, it just builds that bond up more and more. And uh, unfortunately, that's you know not going to be a part of my life anymore. But uh, I'm I'm still very very sure that it's going to continue to stay that way, and AAW is going to continue to to be a spot where guys can come in and out and just become stars and really you know find themselves and uh, be who they are. And, AAW is definitely a place to be, and uh, I'm gonna definitely miss it. But fucking, I, at least I can always say that I am AAW, and hopefully, you know, when I, if I get fired one day, I'll, I'll be back here, and uh, hopefully, they'll have me back in open arms, and I'll have some other kind of preposterous way to entertain people. Hey, might as well get this on camera. It's another Saturday night for Trevor Lee. This all means nothing. I wanted to be one of these guys on the poster. Pieces of what we thought we could be when we got older. Chasing feelings, running away from what we believed in. We're already at the night. No, not at all. Just look at the We're not here with our boys. Woo! I'm an Olympic athlete now, too. Olympic athlete, I want some gold for wrestling. Tonight, it's all about the friendship. The friendship that wrestling has. Eddie Kingston, David Starr, Trevor Lee, and Jeff Cobb. We stick together, we stay together, and tonight, wrestling will rule. by Trevor Lee, held on to the arm. He knew he wasn't going to be able to score the pinfall. I may not like you, but I respect you. Thank you. You're a warrior. Thank you. So I want to congratulate you from the very 
everybody. You're a fucking star. Be a fucking star. From the bottom of my heart, AAW is a place that made Trevor Lee, and it was because of all you fans coming here, cheering, booing, screaming, whatever it is you did for me, it motivated me, it motivated me to get to the top of this craft, to be where I thought that I needed to be, to be where all of you know we should be. A-A-W, thank you! Uh, just thank you everyone, uh, everyone that's ever held the AEW, everyone that's ever did anything here. Uh, it's it's not overlooked. Uh, fucking, uh, a lot of us, this, all we do is uh, sit through the week just waiting for that, that moment and that weekend that we can get and do this, that everything that we love and AEW is a great fucking place to look forward to. It. Uh, I will still be a fan of fucking the AAW. AAW. This is professional wrestling redefined.